Welcome back to Joel Plays. So, you've been thinking about streaming your PS4 gameplay to Twitch, maybe? But you see all this fancy equipment, and maybe you don't have the budget for that. But if you have a PS4 and a good internet connection, you can stream to Twitch straight from your PS4. I'm going to show you how. Streaming straight from your PS4 has been available for a very long time, as long as I can remember. Uh, there are some small drawbacks to it, but if that's all you have, then it's a perfect solution to get that done. Get your name out there. I'm all for making content, so I say go for it. Let's jump back on the PlayStation, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's go! All right, so now that we're on the PlayStation, what we're gonna do is set up our broadcast, and Pretty simple to do you're just going to go ahead and start the game that you want ready to broadcast uh, in this case for me it's call of duty once you're in the game you're going to push the share button and the share button is not the options button but the actual share button itself so you want to push that once and then you'll get the share menu you're going to go down to broadcast gameplay and it's going to ask you which service you want to broadcast on since this is for Twitch, I'm going to go ahead and select Twitch. It's going to try to verify some account information. And because I'm not signed in, I'm going to walk you through the sign-in process. So we have to link our PlayStation account to our Twitch account. And it walks us through it pretty easy. So I'm going to click sign in. Two ways to do this. You can either scan this QR code here with your phone or on a web browser on a computer or on your mobile phone, you can go to twitch.tv slash activate. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so now that we're on the browser, uh, it's gonna ask you to log in with the account. So I'm using my test account. I'm just gonna go ahead and log in here. I verify that I may or may not be a robot. I do have two-factor authentication turned on. I highly recommend two-factor authentication. So what that's actually gonna do is send me a code in my email. Once you're logged into Twitch, you're gonna see the code on your PlayStation 4 that was on that screen. And you're also gonna see a place to enter the code into the web browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that code. I'm gonna click activate. And that's it. We've linked our account. Uh, as soon as we've done that, the PlayStation will automatically go to the next phase of the sign in, which is to say that you've linked and you need to click OK. So we're going to hit OK. It's going to take us back to which service we want to broadcast on. We just linked our Twitch account, so we'll go ahead and select that. And then we have all of our stream settings. So let's go through these settings first. Uh, the top left is just a preview of your uh, broadcast. There are three options on the right. Include video from PlayStation camera in the broadcast. If you have a PlayStation camera, that's really the only way to get like a face cam. The next option is to include microphone audio and broadcast. If you have a chat headset such as this with a microphone on it that you use to talk to your party or your teammates, that is the microphone that PlayStation is going to use for your voice in the broadcast. People watching your Twitch stream will hear the microphone that's plugged into your PlayStation. The next option is to display messages to spectators and their comments. So if you want to keep up with comments on your PlayStation, you would check this box. Uh, I don't really recommend it. A couple of reasons is whenever you turn this on, if you if I turn this on, you'll see in the preview that it actually shrinks the gameplay window down and puts a chat bar on the side. And I feel like that kind of gets in the way. If you have a different way of monitoring chat either through your phone or a tablet or another computer maybe just an old laptop uh, i think that is the best way to do this however if you don't this is a, a viable solution it just realize that your gameplay is going to be smashed down a little bit and you're going to lose a little bit of screen real estate whenever you do this uh, i'm going to go ahead and leave that on i'm also going to include video from the playstation camera and a title that can be whatever you want. That's going to be the stream title that shows up in Twitch. Uh, you can change that in the dashboard on Twitch if you need to. Quality. Now, this is pretty important. Uh, you'll see there's 1080p 60, 1080p standard, which will be 30 frames a second, 720, 540 on down the line. This 
depends on a couple things. Uh, the first thing it really depends on is your upload speed. If you do not have great internet at your house or wherever you're broadcasting from, I recommend bumping this down to 72060, which would be the 720 high. That also lessens the impact on someone watching your stream. If they don't have great internet, if they're watching from mobile, streaming 1080p is a little too much overhead for that. So you'll be able to watch the 720p with minimal buffering. This quality is the stream quality. This does not affect your gameplay quality. So if you're playing in 1080 on your TV, you will still be playing in 1080. This is only what Twitch is ingesting and sending out to everyone. So they will downscale that 1080 to 720 uh, for everyone to watch. I'm going to keep mine on 720, 60 just because I don't want to impact viewers. I do have really good internet and I can stream 1080, but a lot of people can't even watch 1080 without a lot of buffering. I feel like it's not fair. Also, you can send invitation to certain people on your PlayStation. So your PlayStation friends, you can send them an invitation with a link to go watch your Twitch stream from their PlayStation. That's pretty cool. Also, you can share this. Uh, if you're, if you have other accounts linked on your PlayStation, Facebook, Twitter, things like that, then you can check this box. It'll automatically send a tweet or a post to Facebook, letting people know that you are live also with a link to the live stream. And then after that, you're just going to start broadcasting. So you see what that looks like. Uh, it's kind of inception. This camera's a little blown out. The PlayStation camera is not the best. Uh, so you'll see that because I wanted the comments on the stream, uh, it's showing right above me here. That's your comments box. Uh, you'll notice that right also up there is me. That's the picture from the PlayStation camera. Uh, if you don't have a camera, it just shows your avatar. Uh, but if you have a camera, why not put your face out there, right? You're pretty. All the chat will scroll up there. It'll show you how many viewers and also any comments that you have and how long you've been streaming. But you do see that this is kind of smashed over this direction a little bit to make room for this chat bar. So if you don't like that, then maybe log into Twitch on your phone, watch your stream on your phone and keep up with chat there or a laptop, like I said. But if you don't have that, again, perfect solution for this but this is actually streaming to twitch right now uh you'll see right above my head my second head first head top head right, right above the top head you'll see that uh it says on air that lets you know that you are streaming live it's pretty easy to set up pretty straightforward uh, let me show you if you do need to unlink your twitch account so to stop broadcasting i'm going to push the share button again i'm going to click the broadcast settings and the first option here is stop broadcasting. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop broadcasting, click okay. Now I'm no longer broadcasting. My gameplay screen has gone back to the full resolution. To unlink your Twitch account, you're gonna go back to settings, account management, link with other services. As soon as this loads, you'll see all the accounts that are attached to your PlayStation. Uh, I'm gonna go to my Twitch and it tells me which account is linked through Twitch. I'm going to sign out and then click sign out again. And that's going to unlink my PlayStation account from my Twitch account. But again, if I wanted to stream, I would just go back through the, the share button, start broadcast and you're good to go. A quick note also, if you are not in a game, you will not see the broadcast options there. Uh, you have to go into the game and then you'll see the broadcast settings. But that's the quick and dirty of it. So that's how you do it. Super, super simple. Uh, if you have a PlayStation 4 and you want to get into streaming, but you're worried about buying all kinds of equipment, not sure if you're going to like it, this is a great way to get into it. See if you've got an audience or just see if you just like making content. The great thing about Twitch is you can set it to automatically record your gameplay sessions. So you also have a saved version of your gameplay. So even if you're streaming to nobody, you at least have record of all the things that you've done. If you get a, an awesome kill streak or something like that, or a great achievement, then that's recorded on Twitch. You can download it, upload it to YouTube. I don't see any harm in anybody trying this out. It's very free, very free. It is free. Uh, 
It's less than a dollar. That's uh, less than... It, it's free. If you're interested at all in streaming or getting started on Twitch or even YouTube streaming, uh, then this is a great solution for that before you go out and spend a bunch of money. Now, if you start getting a follow, if you start getting a fan base and maybe make some money off of it and you want to upgrade later, then that's also an option as well. But until then, get out there, get a Twitch account, go have some fun, put your gameplay up there. There's people that are going to watch it. I promise. If you like the content, please subscribe. If there's anything you want to see, please leave a comment. If there's anything you don't want to see, leave a comment. And let me know not to make that video. Thank you all for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me because this is something I'm very passionate about. And I hope to keep making more videos for you guys. Until then, love you all. Peace.